right, you guys, I just got this uh, JDM square case P72. The case is uh, labeled burnt. And uh, upon immediate inspection here, there's a burnt area in this general area here. Uh, looks like we've got some uh, discoloration on that board. The board don't look too good there. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this bottom cover. Looks pretty bad. I'm gonna see if I can clean this up and we'll be back. Okay, so what I found was the capacitor had blown up, burned this capacitor, it burned the board severely. <clears throat> So, come back to the back side here. The copper we can see exposed is our 12 volt circuit. The 12 volt circuit was broken between this side and this side, so we went ahead and bridged it back together. Connects on each end right here. We'll go back to that. It's a resistor, uh, if you would. Okay, burnt up here, so. What we've gone ahead and done is simply taken the positive leg from the capacitor and connected it up to the end of the resistor that goes in line with that 12 volt connection. Uh, over here, the, the capacitor that had a small hole in it, um, it completely took the pad. Damn camera, let's see if we can get it to focus here. It took the pad with it, so we went to the next closest source here and grabbed the circuit right there. With that being said, everything else has been looked at. It looks to be in okay shape. When testing this ECU with the multimeter, we were reading 1600 resistance. Now it's reading in 500 range. So we are going to install this in car and see what happens. Burnt ECU. How you like that? I repaired that ECU.